Hey everybody, um, we have a little ice and snow on the ground here, and uh, so I'm not getting out and doing too much digging. Anyway, I uh, ordered my own Christmas present this year. Um, I wanted some more gear for carrying my my uh, finds and my equipment, and uh, I wanted to get something more comfortable, wasn't a, a belt hanging off my waist. Uh, so uh, my friend Red Dirt Digger, Johnny, down in Oklahoma City, had posted a, a link on Facebook a while back of a company by the name of Atlas 46. Um, I'll show you their invoice and their insignia here in just a second and then we'll go pull this stuff out of the box. Uh, I've opened the box but I haven't pulled it out yet. Uh, I'm going to take a look at it. Um, I got uh, a vest and and uh, some knee pads. Uh, look like some good quality uh, equipment. Uh, from what I saw online, we'll take a look at it here in a minute. And uh, they, I did order the first of December. It did take them about three weeks or so to get the stuff to me. I'm I'm gonna write that off mostly to to uh, the time of year, and uh, you know, and shipping being slowed down, and everything. Uh, I did have to email them, and they they promised that they would get the stuff to me uh, before Christmas, which it came Christmas Eve. So they they were true to their word. Anyway, we'll uh, stop right here and I'll turn this camera around we'll take a look at the equipment. Okay, let's take a look at this stuff. Uh, this is the uh, name of the company, uh, Atlas 46. Uh, you can pull up their web page. Uh, got a lot of good information about the company on there. Looks like they used to make uh, like military style equipment. Uh, looks like now they're probably more into construction. Uh, aprons and stuff like that, which is what I got as a, a journeyman's construction apron with cargo pockets. Um, and if anybody uh, wants to know the exact information on them, like the, the model number or whatever, you can, I mean, you can find it on their webpage, but you can also uh, leave me a message and I'll, I'll, I'll include it and comment back to you. Anyway, let's take a look at this stuff. Here's the knee pads. They're good looking knee pads. Got kind of a just kind of a rubbery feeling material on the outside. And uh, the other thing I really liked about these knee pads is the double loops to go around the back of your leg. Uh, my old ones had a single loop across the back of the knee. Really start to irritate in the back of your knee real quick. Um, um, I kind of got used to it after a while, but uh, it'd be nice to have one that's not like that. The other thing with uh, another pair of knee pads I got one time, they were like nine dollar knee pads that I bought at Harbor Freight. They were like gel filled or something. They were real comfortable, um, but they were they had a real wide strap across the back of the knee that was comfortable. But they were all fabric, and it didn't take much in the summertime, and they started smelling really bad. And uh, I tried washing them, but it didn't have a removable cover, which on this one does. You can unvelcro this, take the foam rubber insert part out of it, and uh, wash it by hand. Then wash this, wash the the cover. You know, uh, I don't know. If, I'm sure it wouldn't hurt the machine to wash it. Probably just wash it by hand though. But um, be nice to be able to, you know, really scrub it down and wring it out, and. Uh, so that it doesn't get to smelling bad like those other ones I had. That was ridiculous. I think the guys got a little bit sick of me running around in the, with me in the summertime when we were metal detecting. The odor that was coming off of those knee pads was pretty bad. Okay, this, I like this. This is good. Uh, heavy duty material. Uh, as you can see, it's it's got these three cargo pockets here. It's got like a hammer loop on this side and a little molly loop under it or a smaller loop. Uh, another one, same thing on this side. Got uh, a zipper pouch here and Velcro here. It looks like, yep, uh, got open pockets up here, probably you know, like for a construction worker. They have their pencils and and uh, stuff like that stuck in there. Um, these things, I think, from what I saw in the video on their web page, they have like a different utility things you can stick on here. They have one of my notice was a, a, a big magnet 
that they that velcroed right on the front of this and then you could stick your nails or screws sheetrock screws whatever right onto the magnet and have them right there so that you can just you know take them when you need them uh padded shoulder pads right here with velcro on the outside um yeah it's padded all the way around that's nice uh, good thick padding on it so that'll be comfortable on my shoulders in the summer uh, you know, I was worried a little bit worried about it being hot. It might be a little warm on the front in the summer, but uh, the back of it's completely open. Uh, I'll show you in a second. Uh, it's got good cross stitching and stuff on there. Their stitching looks good and heavy. Uh, and double stitched all the way around the, the edges in here. Here. Uh, all adjustable in the back. Like I said, it's open in the back. So it's got adjustment uh, adjustment here for the height up and down, and uh, we've got the clips on each side that are, have adjustment on them. Good loops to hold the, the extra on the back here. Another clip here. So looks like it'll be real easy to get on and off. Probably just with one clip, throw it over your head. And, Clip it back and you're ready to go. Uh, oh, look at here. It's got pockets on the inside. Uh, yeah. I just went and uh, sent off all the paperwork and everything for my concealed carry, so that'll uh, that'll be nice. I might even, might even put it back in here. Uh, get me a little small holster that I can clip in there and lay it back in behind there. It'd be nice to keep it good and concealed because I'm not really into open carry. Yeah, uh, like I said, it uh, took a little while to get it, but uh, it's kind of worth the wait. It's good, good heavy-duty material, and I'm uh, hoping to be able to get out soon once some of this ice and snow and stuff clears up. Uh, we'll get out soon and, and give it a shot, try this stuff out. Anyway, uh, thanks to the folks at Atlas for getting it to me uh, before Christmas. That was kind of a, a nice little Christmas present to myself. <laughs> and uh, uh, I'll, I'll, uh, you'll be seeing more videos here pretty soon of uh, me wearing it and, and let you guys know how, how it works out. Thanks for watching.